the fascists are some heavy dudes. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report, as we go now to an issue that's long been a third rail of American politics, abortion. A new documentary by the Oscar-nominated directors of Jesus Camp offers a rare inside look at the pitch battle over abortion rights that's being waged not just in Congress and the courts, but on the street corners of small-town America. Well, one street corner in particular, where an abortion clinic and an anti-abortion pregnancy care center sit across the street from each other. The film is called Twelfth in Delaware. Its television debut is on HBO tonight. I spoke to the co-directors of the film, Rachel Grady and Heidi Ewing, here in New York last week. Where is 12th and Delaware? Well, someone right. would say that uh, 12th and Delaware is on every street corner in America, but we'll get to that later. Uh, 12th and Delaware in our film takes place in the town of Fort Pierce, Florida, not too far from Palm Beach. And on the corner of 12th and Delaware, there is an abortion clinic on one side of the street, and right across the street from that abortion clinic is what is known as a crisis pregnancy center, which is a pro-life pregnancy center that sometimes is actually confused um, with the abortion clinic across the street. And the aim of this crisis pregnancy center is to persuade women who are considering an abortion to continue with their pregnancy. How did, Rachel, you decide to do this film? Uh, well, we made another film called Jesus Camp, and in Jesus Camp, one of our um, characters parents worked in a crisis pregnancy center and Heidi and I weren't familiar with these um, with these pro-life centers uh, prior to that film and we actually were filming a scene inside of one and um, almost had the same experience as I think some of the women do that go in there we weren't quite sure what was going on we we're a little confused because we always thought the you know that this evangelical population we were focusing on were pro-life and I was like, is this an abortion clinic? This is very confusing. And then kind of dawned on us what was actually happening. There was ultrasound machines and, um, you know, kind of graphic photographs everywhere. Well, it's clear they want to continue that confusion. Mm -hmm. Let's go to a scene in 12th and Delaware where Anne, who runs the pregnancy care center, is, um, is training others about how to respond when someone phones in. When she calls and she says, do you do abortions? I say, are you calling for yourself or are you calling for your friend? She says, I'm calling for myself. I say, well, when did you have a pregnancy test? And we engage in conversation. Because if she calls and says, do you do abortions? And I say, no. Click. There you have Anne of the Pregnancy Care Center. Um, Rachel, what are the laws here, and who is Anne? Is she a nurse? Is she a doctor? No, she is just a, an activist, a pro-life activist that, um, you know, uh, has dedicated her life to stopping women from having abortion, basically. And... Um, She's not a. She's not a nurse. She's not. A, you know. She doesn't have any degrees. And are there laws here about how a uh, quote pregnancy care center represents itself? There are, and you know they've been around since Roe v. Wade. So since they've been around for 40 years or so, they've tweaked the laws. There's been lawsuits over the years about what they can and cannot do, and they sort of take it right up to the line. So there's no laws, per se, that are being broken. I think people could argue that there's moral and ethical lines that are crossed, but not laws, necessarily. And Heidi, if you say, I want an abortion, uh, do you provide them? What do they say? Um, if, the, if the question is asked directly, um, they say, we do not provide abortions here. Where could I get one if you said that? They will absolutely not tell any woman that the abortion clinic is across the street where they can get an abortion. They will not um, recommend birth control of any type. They do not dispense condoms. Um, they will give no assistance whatsoever in a woman who is a seeking abortion or to or b inquiring about contraception. I think it's interesting uh, when, about, about the legislation that you mentioned. Um, there are some interesting cases that have come up over the last year especially in Baltimore, um, where it was being demanded that the crisis pregnancy centers in Baltimore post a sign on their door or in the window that says, we do not provide abortions here. Well, they did not want to do that, and they fought this. And so the case, and the case has come down that they are going to be required to say 
you know, physically on the door that we do not provide abortions here. And I think the fact that they did not want to provide that information is, is very, very telling. Let's go across the street to the women's health clinic that does provide abortion. This is Candace. They are relentless. They just, they never stop. I mean, they don't have a life. Evidently, they don't have a life. I mean, uh, every once in a while we think about, ah, we go do a protest on their corner of the street. But we don't have time. We're too busy uh, raising uh, grandkids and kids and uh, working and, and making